okay so we're now facing towards casemate square casemate square is a place you can basically go and have lots of lovely things to eat and it's near the nearest bus stop so look at all these great london <laughs> as i call them london red buses it's very very popular so this is a better view of the rock actually super nice i'm just waiting for my dad to catch up dad loves it here my father is okay dad come on uh, my father is ex-SAS so he spent time here uh, when he was like in the 40s late 40s just bang on the end of World War II give you another view of ocean ocean view this is apparently and arguably the ritziest apartments in Jib as it's affectionately called but yeah, Casemate Square, place where you can get the best fish and chips in all of Gibraltar is called Roy's. So we will go there for our Roy's special, which you will see in an hour or so. I don't want to eat just yet. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day. Absolutely gorgeous. We've had rain, as I said, this is an unexpected surprise because I didn't think I'd be going today with the weather being as bad as it is. There you go. This is the Montague. Montague Courtyard, which was to the right of us. You can see that this wall extends all the way around. And if I'm on foot another day, I will take you to the other side. But you can pretty much walk from the airport if you're feeling frisky and fit and fresh you can walk from the frontier right through across the runway which is very exciting and if you catch it just right you might actually see a plane take off and it looks amazing I've flown out many times Go. Okay. the Montague sea bathing pavilion is to the right and then I'll just read this lovely plaque for you Almost all ground outside the line wall has been reclaimed in the 20th century until walk began on the present dockyard in 1895. The sea came up to the wall nearly everywhere from Waterport to Rosia. So that's why you see the name Waterport Casemates. And so we're now coming in towards Casemates Square. This is the bus stop. This is the main bus stop or the closest point. This is North Bastion as well. Fantastic. Great history. I could probably do a couple of trips here and just show you a bit more. But when I go with my father and I go with my dad, I'm just a little bit constricted in the places that I go. Just a little trip. Um, today and as I said I will take more time however I'll just give you a tip on currency rates and exchanges if you're paying in euros you will end up paying more money so my best advice to you is to go to the money market any place that's a money market or currency exchange change your money into Gibraltarian or British pounds So this is the Grand Casemates Gate on the side of the water gate as they said in the previous plaque everything was in the water up to that point and just a little acknowledgement of General John Earl of Chatham KG he was the governor from 1824 and then from Lieutenant Sir John Adji RACG GCB governor from 1884 if you're of the walking inclination or cycling inclination I like to walk um, you can actually get a Gibraltar street guide that's available for one pound and one e one euro so that's very very inexpensive I'll just pan through 
the little beaches. Show you the map. Keep going. And this is more or less where we are. We are here. Keep going. Okay, so now we're going through. Can you see how thick these tunnels are? absolutely amazing it would have taken a while to use cannons and gunfire to get through this and that's the whole point of why the British built it like this so this is grand casemates and it's nice it's got quite a cultural centre as well to it have over here casemates square Where it says Carpo Bank, it actually used to be a glass blowing. Glass blowing and glass museum. You could watch displays. You could also buy some beautiful handmade glass objects. This is also the top of your eating and shopping precincts. Now, the Gibraltarians are very interesting because they are Spanish, but they don't class themselves as Spanish. They class themselves as Gibraltarian. And if you make the mistake of saying Spain in any of the sentences, you will be corrected. This is the central police station. If you're looking for a really, really good fish and chips, it says world famous and you'll see a lot of plaques with, or, or a bit of bravado with world famous, but actually I can attest that Roy's is world famous. Really good chips. I also like Tlamonti for their pizzas. They do an amazing pizza. So you might not come all this way for a pizza, but if you're in the got a yen for one, then come to Tremonti. And this is the top of your shopping precinct. So anything more interesting and I'll come back on.